Aren't you going to the office today? I'll go to the office when I'm damn good and ready to go to the office. Why aren't you going in? Because I'm writing and there are fewer interruptions here. You really hurt me, Skye. I didn't mean to. Don't you realize how easy you're making it for Brooke and Cudahy? Brooke asked me for her things and I packed them up and that's all Don't I did. give me that. You hurt him. She's living him. She's staying at his house. Brooke needs a friend and right now that's all Tom is. He's an ex-husband, an ex-husband who's right back in the picture. Don't blame Tom for what happened to your marriage. Brooke left you because you betrayed her. Don't tell me what I did, all right? Daddy, I love you, but what you did was wrong. Who in the hell are you to judge me? I'm your daughter. You are obsessive. When you want something, you just close your eyes to anything that's going to stand in your way. And look what it cost you. I want my child. I want my child. And Dr. Gould and no one else is going to tell me there's something wrong with that. There's, there's just no talking to you when you're like this. Yeah, fine. Go on, go. Go, leave us. Leave me. Who in the hell cares? I don't need any of it. I don't need you. I don't... Brooke, maybe it's just too soon. No, I don't want to put it off. I was helping Tom clean out some of his files. It's therapeutics. So listen, just tell me. Just tell me what I need to do. Well, the first thing we need to do is to draft a letter of intent. I can take care of that, and I'll send that to Adam. Then we need to sit down, you and I, and talk about your financial needs. See what kind of alimony we're going to go after. No, I don't want any alimony. Okay, well, then we'll look at going the avenue of property settlement. I don't want anything from him. Brooke, I've handled a lot of divorces. You may feel this way now, but my experience tells me that down the line, you may very well change your mind. Look, if I could not support myself, that would be one thing, but that's not the case here. I can support myself. Not in the manner to which you have become accustomed. I think that I just as soon not live that life anymore. All right, look, I'll do anything you tell me to, but as your lawyer, I have to tell you I think it's a mistake. So do I. Look, I'm not saying that you should take Chandler to the cleaners. But I don't see why you should make things easy for him either. Brooke, you loved him and you believed in him and he destroyed your marriage and you're the best wife he ever could have had. Tom's right. Chandler's an absolute fool. I'm the fool. Brooke, I have to ask you this question. Do you think there's any chance of a reconciliation? No. You're sure? When I married him, I was sure that it was going to be forever. But he's lied and he's lied. And how many times am I supposed to forgive him? Dixie's walking around, pregnant with his child, and there's nothing that I can do to change it. I loved him. I, I suppose I still do love him, but I can't live with him. I'm, excuse me. Where's Brooke now? Where did she go? It's my fault, I know. But I wanted the child, my child. D did you love Dixie more than you love Brooke? Oh, no, of course not. But, but then why? These things happen, Stuart. But when she conceived, I knew in my heart I had a son to carry on the name. Our name to carry on a Chandler Enterprises. And Brooke would have loved him. Brooke would have been the perfect woman to raise him. And Dixie was just going to let you take her baby? The child is half mine. It was the perfect solution. Maybe for you, Adam, but not for Dixie. And not for Brooke. You had the most wonderful wife a man could have, and you... She loved you. And I love her. That hasn't changed. It, it'll never change. And I'm going to make it up to her, Stuart. I'm going to spend the rest of my life making it up to her. Help me, Stuart. She loves you. She trusts you. I want you to tell her how much I love her. Tell her I'll do anything I can to get her back. <laughs> what? 
What can you do? How do you think she could ever come back to you now? Miss Chandler, please. Please, I have to speak with you. It's really important. It's all right, Tom. I don't know what we have to talk about, but go ahead. Um, excuse me. I've got some calls to make. Look, I know what Dixie did was terrible. She knows it. That's not the way she was raised. Miss Chandler, our family has values. It, it, it had values. And I know she's foolish at times, but... You underestimate her. I did. Dixie wanted what she wanted. And self-control, much less family values, stopped her. Well, no, no, wait a minute here. She didn't sin alone. She was in awe of the great Adam Chandler. Hell, in my opinion, a half-decent man wouldn't have taken advantage of her. Don't you think a decent woman would have left my house when she first acknowledged her feelings? Dixie stayed, and she pretended to be my friend. No, no, she didn't pretend anything. She was your friend, Mrs. Chandler, and that's why she's hurting so bad. She's hurting! Yes, ma'am, she is. She can't even go outside the house she's staying because she's afraid of seeing you. Afraid that you just seeing her is going to make you hurt more. Maybe she's afraid that now the shock has passed that I might scratch her eyes out. Maybe. You know, if that's what you wanted, she'd let you do it. Man, my sister's got to live with this sin for the rest of her life. I thought that I was going to live with my husband for the rest of my life. I, I know you did. But my sister needs your forgiveness to go on with her life and the babies. That's my husband's baby. And she is not going to get his wife's forgiveness thrown in, ever. There's no point to this, all right? I'm sorry. There's just look, not any point please. to this. Well, then I just hope that someday you can find it in your heart to maybe... My heart, my heart is broken. And your sister and Adam both are responsible. Terribly sorry. Way to go. Justice is a virtue. I just uh, can't practice it right now. Well, so is honesty, so is self-protection, and so is dignity. I just, I just don't understand. I don't understand how you could do this to Brooke. There's a dark side to our family, Stuart. It's always been there. It's made us what we are. Drives us to go after what we want, no matter what the cost. Sometimes it destroys us. Look at Ross. We fight it, but... Powerless to resist it. That's just an excuse. What you did was horrible. And it was you that did it, not some curse. You weren't helpless. It feels like the difference between life and death. A son. Another generation to carry on what I've spent my life building. Otherwise, it's, it's all ashes. Ashes. That's all that's left of our family now. My Cindy is dead. And you threw Brooke away. I'm sorry, I can't talk anymore. I'm too sad.